The sound of a spirit making contact. But let's turn the clock back and begin with Maike Krüger's arrival at the 13th century castle. For hundreds of years, Chillingham served as a stronghold against the Scots and was the scene of many a bloody clash. If you believe in ghosts, this might be the perfect place to meet them. And we will see what will happen tonight. Chillingham is one of Britain's most famous haunted castles. Ghost fans come here from all over in search of paranormal experiences. But on this particular day, the castle is almost deserted. A caretaker and his family live here, and the owner, Sir Humphrey Wakefield, who purchased it in the early 80s. Some of the rooms are open for guests. On Micah's first stroll around, everything smells musty. There are antiques everywhere gathering dust. If this place doesn't give you the creeps, nothing will. Actually, it's very quiet here, but even so, you're always hearing something. This strange creaking, for example. I'll go and check it out. A door that seems to be moving by itself. But is it really a spook? Hopefully, it's just the wind. Not a soul around anywhere, or is there? Boo. <laughs> the only one to materialize here is the caretaker's wife. It's really, really very spooky because it's so dark. Just to be sure she wasn't missing anything, Mike booked a ghost tour with an experienced ghost hunter. Nineteen others joined the tour, but none of them stayed overnight. And they'll gun around the castle with Why are you here? Why are you booked the, the ghost tour? Um, we thought it'd be good for a group of friends to get together and, and see some ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? I do. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's interesting. It's going to be good laugh tonight, I think. Yeah? You and you're not scared at, at all? No. That's what I oh, okay. no, no. First, Graham Burney takes the group into the woods, where criminals, traitors, and many innocent people were hanged. He says ghost sightings have often been reported here among the tree branches, but the only high spirits here are our own. Then we descend into the torture chamber, where lots of blood flowed. The worst torturer of all, John Sage, is said to haunt Chillingham Castle still. The spirit it travels with you. So you can be in the torture room, you could sense a spirit near you, it could be the torturer. But just because he's fascinated with you, he could follow you into the next room. So that's what we explain to people. When they say, what's the most haunted room? It's all haunted because the, the spirit follow you about. So it doesn't matter which room you're in, even the apartments, they're there. Schluck. <laughs> then we head straight into the spectre's lair. The castle ghosts are said to appear and even touch visitors in the king's room and great hall. Graham douses the lights, but he's warned us that the ghosts have been known to bite and scratch. Some of the group hear voices and knocking or feel something touch them. The fear and excitement are starting to have an effect. The ghost tour ends just after midnight in the minstrel's hall, but the haunting goes on. I felt somebody touch the back of my ear, like just, just gentle strokes on the back of my ear. But I wasn't scared. I was just nice and calm. And that was such a surreal experience. I heard it was in the great hall when I was standing in the corner. Yeah. I heard it like a growl. I didn't feel anything, but now at the end of the day, I really feel tired. But this is no time to relax, not even for a moment. A belief in ghosts seems to be strangely contagious. The next day, Micah decides to give it another try and go to the windowless chapel with Graham. The lights go out and soon she's hearing someone tossing stones nearby. 
suddenly I heard somebody throwing little stones three times. And Graham said that this might be the little ghost girl who's in that room. I don't know what really happens, but this was really spooky. But was it a bona fide ghost? There's no way of knowing. At any rate, this trip was far more spine tingling than expected.